And this is Michael. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our vlog. vlog. We are here today in the beautiful city of Manila inside the Philippine Normal University, our school. Yes. And we are going to talk about proper waste disposal. Are you aware of the school policies regarding waste disposal? Well, I know some, but let's go ahead and find out more. Let's go. <laughs> so guys, we found out the location right there. She's a school staff, a janitor, and we're going to go ahead and ask her some questions regarding proper Guys. What things do you usually see when you're cleaning the school? Ano po yung usually yung nawawalis? Na basura? Alit na book, tsaka yung kunti-kunti mga papel-papel, tapos tissue, tissue. Tissue, tsaka uh, mga junk food, uh, wala po. Pero meron din kami nawawalis. Hindi, hindi na nilalagay ng student sa tamang proper place na basurahan. Do you segregate these waste materials when you throw them away? Or even in the common trash bin, in the comfort room, do you segregate them afterwards? So do all the students follow the waste segregation scheme based on your experience? Or yung iba hindi po sa mga students? Paano pong hindi? Sige. Kasi nakikita ko rin yung sa mga estudyante na iniiwanan na lang din basta basta yung halap dahil sa kahit hindi sa sarili na ito Tapos kahit sa nabubulok, naglalagay po sila doon ng mga hindi nabubulok. Tapos kayo pa rin po yung nagsisetulog. Sorry, and you about proper waste segregation. Kung meron po bang memo na ibinaba? Uh, di ba rin meron sa amin resort? Tapos inorient. Inorient sa amin ng press. Tapos inorient kami sa amin ng supervisor. That's it for Ate Love's interview. I think that most of the problem faced regarding proper waste management is all about student practice. Yeah, I think so too. So, shout out to our fellow PNU ones out there. Let's be responsible when we throw out our garbage because we don't just help save the environment, but we also help lessen the waste, I lessen the wear of our school staff just like that. So, shout out to you guys. So now, we thought of having a challenge and we named it the... Segregation challenge. Huh? Have here some chips, some broken glass, and also sport. And for the recyclable materials, we have pet bottles, toothpaste container, and the and the papers. Okay, and then for the biodegradable ones, we, we have, have paper cups, metal cups, ribs, and, and a little mango. Right. So for this challenge, we're gonna ask people to separate this waste materials into three categories, namely non biodegradable. Recyclables and biodegradable. And we would give them 30 seconds to finish this challenge. And if they successfully finish it, we would receive 500 pesos of gift check from Papa Nuro. So let's go ahead and find out some contestants. Let's go. A few minutes later. So our contestants are now ready to take on the segregation challenge. And their 30 seconds starts now. Twenty seconds. Are you confident about the way you sorted these materials? Yes! Do you follow the segregation scheme in your school? Yes! So, shout out to you guys for doing that. I just want to tell you that you did win the challenge! So here's your gift check from Papa ML Rodin! We just want to share with you guys how to dispose waste materials according to its proper use. So, the most popular way of segregating was to classify it according to its proper use. Biodegradable, non biodegradable, or recyclable. So, when using this method, what we actually do is to segregate the waste materials into its ability to decompose. So, for example, biodegradable materials such as this calamansi and this tissue only takes about some weeks up to months to decompose compared to non biodegradable ones such as this styrofoam and this spoon, which may take up to a thousand years to decompose. So, again, on the other hand, recyclable trash have raw materials in it that can be used for other purposes just like this water bottle. And just a tip, if you don't know if your material is actually recyclable, you could check for this logo in the packaging of your material and if it has that logo, then it is indeed recyclable. We also want to act that the school implements clay go or clean as you go policy wherein students clean up and segregate their own trash. 
the school also promotes plastic reduction policy on the food establishments inside the campus, which means that the single use of plastic, plastic cups, plastic spoon, and even plastic bottles are prohibited, and that of course helps save the environment. So that is it for today's video, guys. We hope you can learn something valuable today, and don't forget to reduce, reuse, and recycle your trash. See you on our next vlogs!